Hi, Scorpio. Today, the card for everybody is temperance. Justice on the bottom of the deck. So temperance here, things are gonna come back into the swing of things. You're getting the hang of it. You and a person will communicate. It's been quite some time. An offer that has been waited for. You will be on the same wavelength with whoever this is to you, which we have not pulled. But I'm seeing in general, people are having high understanding when you speak, when you communicate, when you move your body. This is body language as well. A lot of that. Okay. Truth, clarity, understanding. It's mutual. If you feel something, they're feeling exactly what you're feeling. Show me Scorpio. Exactly. It's not even different. Okay. You guys are feeling the same thing right now. Where's Scorpio? Okay, so King of Wands, okay, it's not in its dignified energy and the Empress. It's weakness with Empress energy is what you could be feeling. Maybe you're weak because you are the Empress. Growth, abundance, uh, this could be someone's mother or you are this mother figure. Mother energy is coming in, male or female. But why are you in this King of Wands? Do you feel weak? Okay. So you're, you're feeling a little under the weather or you're, you're, something is being come down on the Knight of wands. All right. Let me tell you this. Something is working, even though, uh, you may feel spent. Okay. So your energy may dip or drop a little bit. There's a weakness that needs to be subdued. I feel like you're having physical weakness or energy, um, vampirism really it's like something is stealing your energy but you're you're partaking in it so something you've been doing this could be that you've been very uh, wow this could be <laughs> something you've needed to stop for some time scorpio or it needs to come back into balance now like you've had your fun you've done your due diligence you did your work okay maybe you were actually partaking in something in excess let's just say it like that uh, you know, physical, whatever. It's about your body, something about your body or with another person, even you're getting back into order here. Okay. So things are going to work. There will be growth. And this Knight of wands is telling me that this is temporary. So if you feel under the weather, you feel down or you feel, yeah, I did too much. I shouldn't have done that. Something. Yeah. It's actually justice. Like I said, this is actually justice. Wow. Scorpio, you're winning here is what I want to tell you. So let's pull on. What could this be? Anything else? And then we'll pull on an energy. So you already know what this is. Whoever I'm speaking to, you already know what this is about. Wow. You're exercising. You're showing your will, your wit, your experience. You are in the know something that is a secret. You're keeping this to yourself. You're working on something. You're creating something that you are keeping to yourself. You're not ready to share this. Tell people it's not ready yet. It's not been formulated. It's not grown yet. This is the beginning. You're signing on a paper, a document, some contract. You're signing up for something. This is going to be the start of it now okay you're this is a new life this could be about um some of you there's going to be like procedures you could be signing for some beauty procedure you're looking into this scorpio okay i'm gonna leave that alone let's see what else is here you know that it's working. You're going to receive confirmation. Something that you're working on is working. Mm -hmm. Yeah. News of a birth or a new business opportunity. Like I said, that's exactly what this is. What we've been talking about. Something you've been working on. Mother energy could be for some. There's going to be news about this. Eventually it's not ready yet. So someone could be expecting and we talk about expecting and I keep getting this in your readings lately. I don't know what's going on or who's watching, but when we talk about expecting, you are creating a new life form, a business entity, an entity or a child. Okay. Could be for some, but this is definitely a new beginning. Something that is your blood, sweat and tears. It's ordained. It's in divine order, by the way, things are working here. So show me Scorpio. You're going to either hear of this or this is you. So you're frustrated because of this. Yeah, you're feeling tied down or frustrated. 
Okay, that's what that devil card energy was. Too much, like I said, too much concern with sexual matters. Someone's been very pent up, okay? So I'm getting that you may feel really pent up and so you keep entertaining yourself physically with sexual matters or you keep involving yourself in sexual matters. You keep thinking about sexual matters, okay? And then I see that you could actually have a period where you are very dependent on this energy to be expressed. So you keep expressing yourself, you keep expressing, you keep, do you understand what I'm trying to say? Okay. Uh, enacting something. This is YouTube. I'm trying to make this, you know, you get me. So karma, you will reap what you have sown. Wow. So you've been very frustrated and now you're going to go ham. You've been held back or tied down with this birth business opportunity. You want to release. There's going to be huge releases. All of that is happening. So you're being released from whatever was holding you. Okay. So now you get to experience what you've been wanting to experience and you're creating. So who's in the energy? Okay. Something just flew out dissatisfaction with life. Someone is dissatisfied. Who is this in the energy? Uh, Scorpio, I feel like, let's say that you've been not having intimate relations with people. You're going to go crazy with it. And then you're going to be like, okay, time to get back to work or time to get back to life. <laughs> okay. Romance is in the air on the bottom. Time to get back to life. If you hear any noise, I'm in a kind of uh, weird place right now uh, with the noise. It's not typical. Just saying when I say weird, I mean atypical. So family sorrow and you need to defend yourself. Hmm. What's this about romance? Someone's, someone's dissatisfied. Your family is dissatisfied. Okay, family planning, someone is upset, defend yourself. Let's pull on. Someone's dissatisfied that you have romance? It could be someone's family is not happy about that. That's interesting. Okay, who is this? Single, ready to mingle, alone, isolation, lonely, and guarded. That's why this person's dissatisfied, actually, because they feel lonely and left out, my dear. That's who this is so far. Liquid courage. Right. Well, bravery, confidence, intoxicated, odd behavior. Yeah, there's a weird situation. It is not typical. This is atypical. Something is strange. Who is this in the reading? Okay. Musician, snake charmer, harmony, and melodic. Wow, someone's trying to seduce from a distance from afar. You may not be speaking to this person, okay? Yeah, they're spying on you on social media, I figure. Spying, online dating, reminiscing, networking. Show me Scorpio related to this person. What's the energy? Player. Yeah, it's another person then. It's another person, someone that you may not be dealing with. Charming, manipulative, karmic, and being tested. That's you. That's your energy. So you're charming. You know how to manipulate. You bring karma. You feel like you're being tested or someone is being tested. There's also hurt, betrayal, grief, and disappointment. One more for Scorpio. Okay. Between the lines and reconciliation. So you don't know if you're going to reconcile with this person. Reunion, second chance, back together, I miss you. Someone misses you, and you're not sure when you're going to reconcile if you are at all. You could be very frustrated physically, and you need some sort of love or attention, affection. Some of you, it's actually sexual matters. Admirer, attraction, suitor, and butterfly. You got your eye on someone. All right. Yes, you do. Okay. I'm also getting that you have an admirer that's been watching. They've been watching you do your thing. They're dissatisfied with the choices you are making. They're not happy that you are, well, I guess sleeping with somebody or having a close bond with a person if it's not sexual. Okay. Let's see. Yeah, Ace of Wands is here. There's a little Adamame bean pod or a pea, two peas in a pod energy. Uh, yeah, I do feel like you're creating here. There's something new coming into your life, Scorp. Good for you. Who's this in the energy, though? Show me this person. 
Yeah, Page of Pentacles, no wonder. So they feel inexperienced. This person is very inexperienced. They've been watching. They don't know what to say. Why is this person in this energy? Because of the two of wands. Someone doesn't know when to initiate and how to act. That's what they think about a lot. They wonder when it's time to reconcile with you. But they're still in the energy. When is this going to happen? What should I do? They're questioning a lot. Okay. I see that they're thinking about it just now. Right. Well, they're saying that someone here wants marriage, traditional relation, something in that way they're saying that someone wants that and the other person does not and they're like i can't give that to you i don't know how to be this person where it's scorpio could be you scorpio you have the player energy okay so you've got page of swords you may be masculine scorpio today Knight of Wands. Yeah, you. there's a pursuit happening. You're making plans for your family with the Ten of Pentacles. This is talking about long-term visions. Yeah, no wonder you have this. And then the family energy is here. News of a birth or a new business opportunity. You've got your eye on something, and it feels like this. It feels like the stork, stork energy, okay? You're looking at family energy, money, business, companies, you're founding a new a new business or if you're founding a new family or like you're a pioneer in some way you're wanting to know how to make something work for the future long term so you've been waiting for someone to get back at you back to you you're already in this energy right well here's that um higher font what is scorpio doing for this person wow king of cups judgment that's you i feel like something is turning you on you may be attracted to people who are on the right side of life. So maybe you like innocence or you like purity. You like when people have values. It's something about that that actually is being sexualized. You get very turned on by this. So you're turned on and excited to create a business, to create a family. You're turned on by the idea of family or you're excited. Okay. I do feel like someone may be pious and you're attracted to them. Uh, you could sexualize that for some of you. There's something about defiling purity that is attractive in this reading. Okay. Uh, let's not go off the deep end today. All right, so how does this person in the reading see Scorpio? They see you as the Queen of Pentacles. Wow. So you yourself as a creator, you're a protector. You're the antagonist is what I am hearing, Two of Cups. You could be joined with a Cancer a Virgo or a Taurus here. This person is watching you join forces or that's who they are, who they, the thing is I don't feel like that's who they are because they are very alone and isolated in the energy, okay? You've been waiting for news back from whoever this is. They either need to say yes or no. Or there's nothing else. It's either yes or no, or is it working or not? Are you working on it? Is it, you know, I've been waiting. What's the answer? Why do they see Scorpio with this queen of pentacles? Yeah. So there you see, so you've got the seven of wands, five of pentacles, eight of wands, and the 10 of cups. It's either yes, we're building or no if you're going to add to my life it's happiness it's family and if you can't do that the answer is no so I feel like you could be really black and white about a situation in the coming period or that's how they see you either it works and we're building each other or we're making each other happy we're talking about family or you are like living together you're making a family whatever this is with the ten of cups okay either you're my family or you're my enemy that's basically what it is or you're nobody to me you're my family or you're no one that's how they see you how does scorpio see this page of pentacles person you see that they're afraid they're fearful 
They're kind of um, nervous. I see why you're very intense. Okay, why do they, why does Scorpio see them like that? The two of cups, um, I'm seeing the two of cups again, it's not here. The three of wands, king of wands and the magician. You feel like this person is afraid to act. They're afraid to start something with you. They're, they are, because we saw them in that energy. They were hesitant to take initiative. This person has not stepped into their power. They don't, they haven't um, grown up, let's say. They're not experienced. They're immature in some way. They're not, I don't know, they're not a king. This is a page. So you see this person is trying to create from a page energy. They're just starting out. They're starting something new. And you want to see that they're able to create the same vision here. Maybe this is their idea. They want family. They want, uh, it's either family or business, something that's supposed to go long-term. And you see that they've been very hesitant. This person is hesitant because they are inexperienced and this is how you see them. So they're afraid to take initiative. This person won't, I don't know, put the moves on you, or they won't step forward and show themselves, or they won't something. What are they not doing? Yeah. The ace of pentacles. What are they not doing here? That Scorpio's talking about with the initiative, the five of cups. So they're afraid to step out of their comfort zone. Okay. What does this person feel for Scorpio? Nine of cups. Wow. This is a vision. Wow, Scorp. This person feels like they want more from you. They need more. They want more. They want to be treated. They want to be pampered. They want to be uh, something. All right. Yeah. The, the, maybe this is a vein of contention. It looks like you guys don't like that. So someone is um, this pay this earth sign. This Capricorn Taurus Virgo is less experienced than you. They have less than you. They see you creating your visions and your life and they want a piece of it. They want a part of it. So the moon, the seven of pentacles, five of wands, six of cups, queen of swords. Hmm. Something is off here, Scorp. Why does this person feel this right here? Yeah, because of the king of pentacles and the lover. This person could, wow. It's like someone wants to copy you. They want to be you. They want to create what you create or they want what you have. That's what I'm getting here. Yeah. Yep. With that queen of swords, this person wants you for what you can do for them or what you can offer. So is that why you're waiting to see if this person's vision comes into full focus, if they can actually create? Yeah. You look like you're hesitant because you know that this person is just starting out or their family's upset with you guys you know people are not happy with their lifestyle this person specifically does not have a very good lifestyle according to them it's their perspective or you as well you know this you know that this person is not happy with what they're creating in their life or their family family disapproval here for sure how does Scorpio feel about this person? So you're trying to see if this person is going to get it together. Are you going to grow up? Are you going to be able to, you know, initiate? So you do have the devil. I feel like you're sexually attracted to whoever this is. Like I said, the whole reading here is like, it's a, it's a strong tension. Um, like I said, there's a masculine energy here that's very physically pent up about this situation. The thing is you do see a lot of desire, a lot of passion. You also fear and know that someone could be in it for the wrong reason. So let me see why Scorpio has the devil. So yeah, Ace of Pentacles, the Seven of Cups. So you have more than enough. You have more than enough energy, love, attention. That's how you feel about this. The Page of Wands, oh my gosh. You're attracted to this person's voice, the, the things that they talk about or the ideas that they have. It turns you on. Someone talks about certain things that turns you on. Like I said, I feel like you're sexualizing something that may be, I don't know, could be like some sort of a kink. I don't, I'm not sure what this is, Scorpio. But it's uh, maybe you like to, and yeah, I feel like you're attracted to someone's purity or innocence or inexperience. Someone doesn't know something and it's turning you on. 
in, their voice turns you on, the things that they talk about turns you on. They are very, I, I don't know. <laughs> they take you by surprise by the things that they say and they do. What is this Ace of Pentacles that Scorpio's referring to? The Three of Pentacles, yeah. All right. There's a lot of spying going on. What's Scorpio looking at with that Ten of Pentacles? Ten of Wands. So you're moving? What's that? What is Scorpio looking at? Yeah, the oh yeah. Damn. The freaking five of swords in the chariot. Ooh. Okay. You're gonna take what's yours. This is ownership. You're saying, I want this, it's mine. If it's the person, it's yours. If this is your success, it's yours. You are very cutthroat here. This is, I see what I want and I'm gonna get it. I don't care. There's, yeah, the five of cups. What is this right here? Three of swords again, yeah. Seven of swords, wow. Here you are, Scorpio. Okay, the thing is, you have to get over something. You're upset. You you know this though. You're like I feel like you're acting specifically on this three of swords. There's a dissatisfaction that you need to act upon, and I feel like you're very pent up. Number one, there's something that you want that's like almost there, or it's almost complete, or you almost have them. You almost can take this or this person. You can travel to this person. Okay, you can get over this disappointment that you guys have or you feel. And I see that this is going to be a risk. So you're risking it you want to take a risk you're thinking if this person is going to be able to as well you're like I'm ready to take this chance this risk are you and you feel like this may be someone who doesn't have it in them all right what kind of um needs to keep up is what I'm getting because you're very quick Scorpio you're whoever I'm reading for you are going to capitalize on things you're very opportunistic if something shows up it's yours if it doesn't you move on to the next and I see you doing this very quickly quick it's like you're qu thinking fast you're acting quick everything what is Scorpio yeah the tower what's this tower Okay, wow. So you're going to... Whoa, that's you. The high priestess. Emperor. Damn. What is this? That Scorpio's... Okay, Empress. Yeah. Okay, what's going on? There's a bunch of cards popping out. And then on here, too. Queen of Swords. figure something out Scorpio someone is if they're not fast enough you're gonna cut this off quick what does this person want with Scorpio what is well, first of all what is Scorpio finding out here there's something that you're gonna uncover Scorp I see that very strongly what is Scorpio gonna uncover and find out ace of wands okay what's that some okay so you're gonna have a release oh goodness oh goodness um Okay, there's someone that's gonna get cut off after you have some type of release. Interesting. So it could be by yourself. Um, you kind of expand or explode, kind of grow, and then you're gonna move on from this. There's a release, that's what I'm saying. You're very excited about something, but it's not what you want. Uh, you're gonna see that here. All right, so what does this person want with Scorpio, please? They want the three of pentacles. Okay, temperance, there it goes. There's that card here. And the king of pentacles, yeah. This person only wants people who are doing better than them or they perceive as doing better than them. And it looks like it's you in this reading. That's strength, yeah. Um, 
someone is not able to offer what you're offering, but they want to partake. So uh, they're coming in with that page, but they want you to offer the king. Okay. So it wouldn't be exactly reciprocated. I do feel there's some sort of a mutual benefit with that temperance. Some of you are giving this person ideas about money, about business, about relationships. Maybe you're well connected and this is going to help someone. And that's how they see this. They feel like this is a very strong offer and they're not trying to let it go. What does Scorpio want with this person? They want the high priestess and, um, you want the high priestess, the eight of cups. Someone's turning you off Scorpio. Okay. And the, the emperor. Yeah. This person doesn't have it in them. They don't, they don't have the wherewithal. They don't have the experience. They're not mature. This is like a, they act like a child, maybe even if it's an adult, someone is, um, this feels like hypergamy in business. So this could be like a, like nepotism, hypergamy. That's what this feels like today. Right. Uh, okay. Something is problematic, Scorpio. You're going to get to the bottom of it here. Can you tell us who exactly this person is? Let's see. Someone needs to defend themselves. This is not what it's cracked up to be with the cracked cup. Can you tell us who this page of pentacles person is? Right. Well, it's not going to go anywhere anyway. Empress. Spoiled. Someone is a little bit spoiled or they're not used to having to do things for themselves. Um, maybe this person has been pampered or they want to be. That's what I see. Okay. They're going to be focused on themselves here is what I see happening. Let's put this person. Yeah. Let's put this away. This could be someone that you're talking to online. Maybe. Well, you'll know who this is. I feel. Yeah. There's someone else here. That's what I'm saying. Third party. Um, you may be barking up the wrong tree with this person, Scorp, this, this page of pentacles person. Let's get a rule on them really quick. Yeah, Aries, North Node, and the Eighth House. It's ending, it's over. This, this situation is coming to a close. Let me see what's happening after the fact. Right, the Five of Wands, the Eight of Cups, that's you. I feel like something is turning you off. They're making you wait. It's too frustrating for this person to catch on or catch up. Okay. And you're just going to chalk it up to a loss. That's what I see you doing. This person's either slow or not experienced, or they're not showing you interest. They're not old enough, mature enough. They're, they don't know anything. It's at first you're turned on and then you're turned off. Okay. That's what I see. So who is Scorpio connecting with? So here's the thing. You're going to leave this person alone that we've been talking about, but you're not sure if you're going to reconnect with them. I do feel like they will come back eventually. I don't know how long I am sensing that this person will message you again, or you will message them again. Maybe the timing is not right or, um, yeah, that's the thing. If the timing isn't right, then it's not meant to be at least not then and there. Someone needs to change. They need to be a different person. Someone needs to be a different person. It's not your person unless they change into a different person or they become someone else. So you're going to feel this. This is not me telling you this. If this is your reading and that's what you were connecting with. Okay. So this person is not going to give you a release. You have to find it yourself or it's something else. Okay. Yeah. I feel like your plans are going to go awry with this individual. They may have something going on with their family or they're going to tell you that they may be, um, dependent upon their family as well. Okay. So the nine of wands. Yeah. Family. This person is very, yeah, here it is again. The page of pentacles to 10, exactly what it is. What I just said. So Scorpio, who will Scorpio connect with after this? Or who is that third party here? Seven of Pentacles, Nine of Swords. Okay, it's a Sagittarius, a Taurus, or a Virgo. Why did I say Virgo? Gemini. There may be a Virgo here. Was it the person in the reading? It could be. Ten of Pentacles. Yeah, Virgo, Mercury, and Virgo could be. 
Hmm. Scorpio, there's someone here that you're hoping things will switch and change with is what I'm seeing. Yeah, four of wands, the ten of pentacles. You're looking at home life, family, all these things. Chariot, eight of wands. Things are going to change quickly. Wow, here's someone coming in. It's a, it's a Pisces, it's a Cancer, it's a Sagittarius, the fool. Okay. Interesting. So there's no more waiting. You're wa this page of pentacles has you waiting. You're not going to do that anymore. There's someone else that's available or immediately there, or you're saying, Hey, I'm going to go talk to this other person. Okay. And I see that actually taking off m much better. It could be a Pisces for some or a cancer. Who's this? Or you're thinking about this. Okay. Strength seven of wands. Oh, ace of cups. Okay. What's this? This is the tower. Yeah. All right. So defenses are going to come down. Someone's coming in. It's Leo. It's Pisces. It's Sagittarius. Something like this. This person's popping into your experience. Okay. Your defensiveness or someone's walls are coming down. They are being broken down. There's going to be movement there. I see that. You have two people in your energy. Maybe they are both inexperienced or they are both new. You have um, two pages. Okay. Tell me. So everybody's young or youthful or too young. And yeah, that may be a concern in the coming period. So is this for the summer rabbit? Where's Scorpio on this rabbit? Someone's going to get back to you, Scorpio. Yeah. I feel like you're pent up. This is what it is. Like it's been too long and you're looking for someone is what it seems here. Yeah. Again, there's a person here that you're looking at. You want intimacy. You want connection. You want a bond. So you may be a creative. Okay. You always need a muse or you always need someone to kind of feed you some sort of energy, but it's, I mean, a symbiotic, I'm not saying just one way, but I feel like you thrive when you have someone to express with. Okay. Uh, whoever I'm speaking to, you're a creative. So you're creating. Yeah. That's what we were talking about. I just realized the higher font. Mm -hmm. Okay. Well, there's, there's someone here that's going to be more your speed Scorpio. I just feel like you're a little bit disappointed. Anything else Scorpio needs to know death card and the six of pentacles, right? Well, things are changing. Nine of cups. What's changing. What is this? It's the way that you feel about your future that's changing. You're no longer going to want to do what you did. Yeah, something is changing. There goes the wheel. So you're wondering too what changes you need to make. The sun, you're going to create your own happiness here. Okay, who is this? Hold on a second. So you're going to hear from a Sagittarius, Virgo, Aries, Libra person. Could be multiple people here. So you're breaking up with several people. Yeah. Or you're ending relationships with people. It could be friends or connections. You're going to have a whole new group of people around you. Yeah, I feel like you're going to be creating, I don't know, this is like a home that you're, you really think is beautiful or this is a perfect scenario, perfect relationship, happy home, happy, okay, ton of cups, happy family. You're creating that here. temperance. Okay. Here's the deal. You will be creating. I see that you're going to need to have, wow, you have a lot of lovers and paramours coming in. What the heck are you doing Scorpio? Okay. But anyway, uh, oh, well, right. But I, I see that you are going to need to moderate your time, your energy, what relationships you are building. You have some choices to make with that seven of cups, three pentacles. There's just all kinds of connections. You're meeting a lot of people in love and and in business, you're networking. And I don't see that you're really expecting this, but it's going to happen quickly because you're looking for a change and it's coming. Okay. What is this? That Scorpio Mars energy. Mm -hmm. Okay. The seven of cups again, take your time. I see that you, you're going to feel frustrated because everything feels so distant, so far away. Uh, people are being manipulative or you are Scorpio. It could be oh, right here. 
especially I feel like you're frustrated for you're in a masculine energy, whoever I'm speaking to, and you are very sexually frustrated. And there's two people here that you are very frustrated with. So you're going to have to wait, or you're gonna have to take your time or make proper plans from what I'm seeing. Whoever you're talking to in the coming period, very strongly and hopeful about is going to completely disappoint you. And so you're going to find someone else. And that person could be already there. Show me Scorpio or you have connection to them some way. They're going to get back to you. They're going to be a breakthrough. I just see that you're going to have to wait or patience is a virtue. Uh, someone's being virtuous could be all right. So your commitment is being tested first quarter moon. Yeah. Okay. Show the world the real you full moon. Uh, give me an advice card for Scorpio or a beneficial supportive energy. What's going on here? You got an interesting reading today. Kind of dig it. I like when it's different a little bit. Maybe you do too. You need a change of scenery. You need a change of relationships. You need someone to be someone else. Okay. Be bold and make the first move. Scorpio, what are you doing? It's time to take action. New moon in Aries. What's this about for Scorpio? What is this? Be bold, make the first move for Scorpio. Okay. Um, it's merc mercurial energy. Mars and Venus. Yeah, I feel like you're gonna hit people up. You you feel isolated or alone? You gotta connect with somebody specific. Empress. Holy moly, that Empress energy again. Okay, what does this be bold make the first move? Death, okay. Three of cups, yeah. So you you may feel very, like I said, you feel pent up, try something new. That's what this is um, in a nutshell saying. Because you've been waiting too long, something's taking too long, is stress, you're stressed out on your own, or you need like skin to skin contact, or you need good company, you need friends, maybe this is wine or drinks, okay, for some of you. I'm seeing that here. If you wanna talk to somebody, this is you initiating it. Now I'm not telling you to do anything, just know, okay? Um, if this is your situation, you know what it's about. That's you. If it's not, and you're just speculating, don't do it. Cause I, I mean, I don't know. Here's the thing. There's new relationships, new people. Like I said, yeah, there's wow. A lot of abundance, flourishing energy, mother energy that's coming in. It's time to take action. Give me one on that. Yeah, there's news. Okay. Five of Pentacles. You feel like you're missing something, whether it's company or a specific person. There's something that you've been um, putting off or waiting on and feeling left out about. It's time for you to fight for what you want or push your work into what you want. Even if it's uh, strange or it's out there or it's different, people don't agree with you. There's something about you having success. What is this about? It says time to take action and drop your defenses. Yeah. Success with the chariot, higher fonts, king of pentacles and the chariot Taurus energy, earth sign energy, cancer energy, Leo energy. Yeah. You're going to have success. This could be about something you're committing yourself to, devoting yourself to. It's that business opportunity or that birth opportunity. This is set. Uh, whoa. I was going to say sex. I was going to, but I meant to say success. Okay. So I guess you're going to have success in sex. Thank you, Scorpio. Check your other placements for more different information. I'll see you next time. Goodness. <laughs>